Hello there, welcome to my channel. My name is Andrew Semaganda. I want to share with you the power of Microsoft Access. I want to show you how to develop real-world applications using Microsoft Access. I want to first share with you some of the benefits of Microsoft Access. Access can enable you to automate repetitive tasks, saving you time. Access can enable you manage large amounts of information effortlessly. For your information, Access can take up to 20 million records. Access can enable you to find key information in seconds, not hours, not days. Access can enable you extract variable information and trends from the mass of meaningless data. Access has the ability to import and export from and to other sources and formats. Access can enable you save money for your organization. Access can enable you stand out from the crowd. Access can enable you create an impact in the workplace, get recognized, get awards. Access can enable you to get accurate information. I want to share with you some of the possible applications you can develop using Microsoft Access. Accounts receivable, sales order entry, invoicing, inventory management, general ledger, financial reporting, payroll systems, fixed assets and depreciation, Point of sale, barcode scanning, assuming you have a supermarket, banking, check writing, reconciliations, accounts payable, budgeting, managing advances, managing suppliers, managing customers, managing assets, all property tracking, time and billing. The list is endless. I want to share with you some of the applications I've developed using Microsoft Access. The first one is the fixed assets application. You can see I can add an asset, edit an asset, view depreciation. You can export depreciation. You can uh, export uh, all reports that you may want with regard to the fixed assets. You can get uh, the uh, depreciation by cost centers, so on and so forth. This is uh, the front end of this application. This is one of the forms. When I click on the previous buttons, it takes me to this form. And I'll be showing you in my next videos how to develop these uh, forms and how to attach these text fields such that the user can be able to capture information with ease. I'll show you how to come up with uh, this section to compute depreciation. Access can be used in accounting, in form of an accounting system, you can view accounts, enter transactions, edit transactions. Again, this is the front end of the interface where you capture the information. Access can enable you manage assets. In other words, develop an asset management application. You can add or edit an asset, search an asset, view licenses, assuming these are vehicles, view third party uh, when, when these are due. So again, this is the front end where you capture the information. Assuming this is a motor vehicle, you can see I can know the maintenance costs, fuel consumption, the licenses when they are due, the third party, mileage covered, so on and so forth. You can add more uh, tabs here to manage uh, this asset. You can use access uh, in the uh, public sector where you want to capture the information about staff say for a district this is where you capture the information 
you can capture uh, stuff information using these text fields. You can even attach a picture or photograph of the stuff. You can as well use this search uh, form to show up the records of the different uh, staff or different employees. You can use access in HR applications. You can evolve this application with ease. You can uh, have a button for adding and editing records, search records, reports. You can put this button for exit. I'll be showing you all these buttons in my next video. Access can enable you have all these menus on top here where you click on details of the staff. Uh, this is an HR application. Uh, you can have uh, nest of kin, dependent, hospital information, education, awards, salary. This is information about J. Masha. Access is important in inventory management. You can use it in inventory management where you have a store where you receive an issue. For example, if I, uh, you click on this button, you'll be able to receive an issue if it is a stock, if it is uh, a shop, if it is a supermarket. You can even link this one to uh, your POS ma machine, POS systems. You can even link it to your uh, uh, backward scanner. So you can see you can add an item, edit an item. All these are reports you can add, all sorts of reports that you may want from this system. So when I click on receive an issue, it takes me here. This, for example, is a product. Uh, the details are here. I'm, uh, I can be able to search for different products. Once I click pipe 20 stroke uh, times 40, I get uh, I, I get uh, its information uh, retrieved and it will show up here uh, in this area. So you can see the power of using Microsoft Access. You can use Access in the savings and credit or loan system uh, where you have customers with the, the loan accounts. They can uh, be saving money. So you can have buttons that uh, enable you to capture their deposits, so on and so forth. You can uh, upload their pictures. As you can see, these are the details where you capture the information on this savings and the uh, uh, credit or loan system. You can use access in processing salaries. You can see this is the payroll system for a full year running from January to December. Uh, you can see you can be able even to have details of say Jonah N. Uh, you can see you can be able to uh, retrieve data by clicking here for a particular employee. You can do all sorts of all, all sorts of things. You can add new employee. You can edit employee. You can print off reports. All these are different reports. You can print pay slips so on and so forth these uh, buttons they take you to different parts of the database i'll show you how to add all these uh, buttons in a while you can use access in property tracking assuming you have plots for sale you have houses for sale houses for land uh, 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 land for sale you can view profitability on each property sold. And this, uh, this is the part where you capture the information regarding a property uh, or a house. You can use access in reconciliations. You can load information in one table, then another set of information in uh, table B. And you're able to know items in A, not in B. Reconciliation. B not in A in this case, you can be able to know items in B not in A. And then you can use access in managing school records. 
if you have a school you can manage uh, using Microsoft Access again I'll be showing you how to develop all these text fields uh, using Microsoft Access how to add the buttons how to add all sorts of uh, uh, text fields with ease you can use access in hospitals uh, managing uh, patient details uh, this could be a patient assuming this is a patient term you can see you can know the treatment given the notes of the doctors and other reports having looked at uh, the different applications that you can develop using Microsoft Access I want to show you the power of importing and exporting you can be able to export and import information from different sources you can uh, export to Excel and you also import from Excel and you can also export and import from different databases what is a database in Microsoft Access we have a database a database is a collection of information for example this is a database uh, it is just a table but it's a collection of information uh, having several columns and rows and in Microsoft Access you'll find their objects you find their tables queries forms and macros I'm going to explain the meaning of these objects in Microsoft Access this is Access 2000 but it's the same uh, principle even if it's Access 2016 you'll find the same tables queries forms reports pages macros modules and so on so as we saw a table a table has uh, fields a field is a column on a data sheet a data sheet is basically like a worksheet in Microsoft Excel so this is a field one field basically a column is the same as a, a field then in access again we have rows these are tables but with rows so a row is this one highlighted over here then the tables are used to store information the forms are used for entering editing and deleting information queries what are queries queries are used to filter and summarize information this is simplified SQL language some of you you already know what SQL is about you've heard of select all from table X where this is equal to that so this is a query I'll be showing you all this stuff in my next videos A report what about reports reports are used to present and print information as you can see this is a sample report it can be edited it can be uh, redesigned it's so that it looks uh, better again in access we have objects called macros these are used to automate our repetitive tasks uh, this will enable you to automate a number of tasks without knowing how to use Microsoft Visual Basics and then pages are used to publish database information on the websites I want to share with you some basics in SQL SQL is a structured query language uh, it used to query any database with special programs like uh, DB Artisan you can apply SQL in uh, uh, Microsoft SQL and uh, so many other databases where you can use uh, SQL but in uh, MS Access 
the these uh, these are queries basically. Uh, so you can see the number of databases where you can apply uh, SQL, MS SQL, Oracle, Sybase. Uh, it's good to have uh, some idea about SQL. Uh, for example, I'm giving some basics in SQL here. Select statements uh, are used to pick information from a table. You can select all from assets. When you uh, pass this query uh, in uh, uh, a database, it will return all the rows and columns uh, in the asset table. When I select ID from assets, it will return the ID column from the asset table, this one here. When you select cost from the uh, assets, where cost is greater than 20,000, it will bring up all assets whose cost is greater than 20,000 but it will bring only the cost column then select all from assets where cost is now it will bring all assets with uh, empty uh, fields in the cost column so to develop a real-world application, you need to understand uh, or to get a better understanding of uh, a database, tables, queries, forms, reports. In summary, Microsoft Access is critical to the day-to-day -day operation of large and small enterprises. Microsoft Access could automate and speed up tasks in various financial uh, applications. Access uh, is uh, good in running SQL language, easy to implement. It is very easy to uh, develop interfaces in Microsoft Access because it's drag and drop and access will remain critical in our day-to-day -day work. My contact information, as you can see from this slide, uh, in the next lesson, I'll be covering a uh, Microsoft Access environment to explain the tables, the uh, forms, uh, the uh, queries, so on and so forth. So please subscribe to my channel to keep uh, informed about the new videos regarding Microsoft Access. Within uh, two to three months, you'll be an expert in developing any form of application that is uh, suitable to your operating environment. Thank you very much for listening to me. Thank you for visiting my channel. All the best. Bye.